NASA's Parker Solar Probe has officially made the closest approach to the sun ever. The space agency confirming the record-breaking success on Friday after receiving an all-clear message from Parker that it survived the journey. You can see some of the photos there provided by NASA and the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. I do want to bring in Dr. Nora Rawafi, an astrophysicist at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab and project scientist for NASA's Parker Solar Probe mission. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, first off, I want to start from the beginning here. For folks who are not familiar with what the Parker Solar Probe is, can you explain to me uh, when it came about and what its mission overall is? Uh, Parker Solar Probe is a NASA mission that was that launched in 2018, August 2018, and it it traveled the closest. Uh, to the sun ever, um, breaking its own, own record for seven times now. But on um, on Wednesday, on Tuesday, like the, the, this week, Parker Solar Probe hit the closest uh, approach ever to a star, that our star, the sun. And uh, the goal for Parker Solar Probe is to help us understand the inner working of the sun. That way we can live in harmony with it. For instance, it will help us understand how the violent uh, solar magnetic activity uh, works and how it influences the, the, the space and in particular Earth environment. That way we can predict and, and uh, uh, mitigate the effects of space weather. How close to the sun are we talking? Again, we're looking at some of the images here that were provided, but uh, this uh, essentially you got confirmation Friday that Parker had survived. So explain to me how close we really are talking because this is essentially historic, record-breaking. It's 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 historic. It's monumental. Um, the Parker Solar Probe um, was as close as 3.8 million miles from the surface of the sun. That was in Tuesday uh, of this week. Uh, 3.8 million miles might sound a big number, but if you put it in context, the sun-Earth distance is 93 million miles. So Parker Solar Probe was at about 4% of the sun-Earth distance. Um, and just to, to give it an, another meaning, back in April of this year, we we've seen the total solar eclipse with all these majestic structures that uh, the solar so the solar corona did display. Parker Solar Probe was traveling through these structures. What was going through your mind when you get the word that Parker did survive? Was there a chance that you were a little worried that maybe it, it didn't? Um, and the days building building up to to Friday when we heard back from Parker Solar Probe, um, the overall sentiment was we are confident in the system that we built. It's going to do well. But to be honest, on the day itself on Friday, I felt a little bit nervous because this mission is so high risk. Anything can happen. And when we received the signal, actually we received it four times. It's like Parker Solar Probe wants to reassure us that everything is, is, is okay. So when we received the signal, it was um, a moment that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And my last question for you here, what's next for Parker? Where does Parker go next and, and what can we expect? Like any other NASA mission, um, Parker Solar Probe is a very healthy spacecraft. It is ready to go for many, many years to come. And uh, that's a decision to NASA to make, but the likelihood that NASA will, will uh, extend the mission to, to keep going for many, many years. You know, we invested in this mission for over 60 years now we, to get this close to the sun. We cannot just give, you, give it up that easily. And Parker Solar Probe is ready to do that. All right, Doctor, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us and discuss this because, again, it's historic, record-breaking. There's a lot to this. Is there anything else you want to add before I let you go? Uh, if, if, if Talking about history, if I just want to make a parallel between what we achieved um, this week with Parker Solar Probe. In 1969, we landed the humans in the moon, and that was monumental. It was a huge. On Christmas Eve of 2024, we embraced the star. And that's also another huge achievement. It's it's really for all, not only for for the scientists and engineers, it's all for all of humanity. It's it's not an easy thing to do. All right. Thank you again for taking the time to be here, Dr. Nora Rawafi, the astrophysicist there at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab and project scientist for NASA's Parker Solar Probe mission. We appreciate you taking the time to be here with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me.